here he is at last, the mystery man of India. Our first glimpse as the Rajputana came alongside at Marseille. And there's a woman of whom you've probably all read, but never seen in a picture. Miss Madeline Slade, the English daughter of an admiral, who now prefers to be known as Malara Ben. She's one of Mr. Gandhi's most devout disciples. She's leading the way ashore now. And just behind her comes Mr. Gandhi, dressed as he said he would be, in just his loincloth, even in the chilly climes of Europe. And he's carrying with him his pots and pans, which he declared at the customs. He was trotted around Marseille to several receptions and made one or two speeches which rather frightened the French authorities. But when asked to speak into the sound film microphone, he said, I think not. And so we go on our way to England. Well, here we are at Folkestone, with the Beeritz coming alongside, and as Gandhi said, in proper English weather, pouring rain and bitterly cold. Miss Slade was the first ashore to tend to the luggage, that is, the goat's milk, etc. She was followed by Gandhi's son, and then came the little man, still scantily clad, but with an extremely wet blanket around his tiny frame. I'm sure he must have been frozen. We were in thick overcoats. He picked his way through the puddles along the quay side. And he was wearing sandals, by the way. To the waiting motor car, for he decided that he'd rather go up to London by road. He insisted on sitting up in the front seat with the driver. He said that he could see better that way. So he tucked himself in. And so off to London whilst his followers went by the boat train. In town, quite a lot of people had waited in the pouring rain outside the Friends Meeting House in the Euston Road to see what he really looked like. But at first they were quite disappointed because he went in the back way. But shortly afterwards he left by the front way. And then they really did see quite a lot of him, even his knees. He won't speak into the microphone. And so to his poplar home, where we leave this bizarre little man, whose coming has caused so much comment, complete with loincloth, spinning wheel and goat's milk, feeling sure that he cannot complain of his reception or the publicity he has received from which, by the way, we always understood that he shrank. 